Hi friends, today we are going to talk about one something, one particular program. I have probably written thousands, tens of thousands of programs in my life. And this is one of the most important programs that I have written and uh, probably uh, is one of the uh, most important program an ABAPR should write. Okay, uh, so you must be saying what program you're talking about. So this is a program that will tell you what are the different tables that are associated with different fields. So I'm just giving four options here and this is a custom program and I'll, let, I'll share it in the SDN network as well as the YouTube uh, channel. Okay, so here suppose I have a requirement. Okay, and I'll just make sure. Okay, so this is the first. So first thing I'll just do is uh, I'll just do with the hard one. Okay, so here this is excluding things. I don't want the slash ones. Okay, so here I want to see uh, the program that has the table which has the purchase order, purchase order line item, the the invoice number and the year. Okay, and I'll just execute. And this program, what it does, goes through, scans it all the all the tables that has only, that has all these four fields. Okay, and if it cannot find some, it will also tell the field the tables that have two fields, that have three fields, and so on and so forth. And the greatest thing is it will not tell you those tables that doesn't have any entry. So only the tables that has entries will have, you will have. So here you can see all these tables. So I just for the for the for the uh, clarity or for the uh, QA test, we'll just see C11. Okay, and we'll just just check some of the things. Okay, so let me go uh, ACC TIT. Okay, so I'll do. ACC TIT okay and I'll just go here and here I can see we'll just do a search EBLN okay for the heck EBLN EBLP is there okay we can see and we will say Belnar and Belnar and TGR is there so the first one we'll do some three we'll do three checks we'll do, then we'll do COEP okay okay so we'll do COEP and we'll click display okay and we'll do a search with EBLN, okay? And we'll search with EBLP is also there. Now we'll just do another search with Belnar, okay? And Belnar and Chicha there. Hmm? Oh, we'll see. It's there, you see? So this is the first. We did two. Now we'll do something fun. We'll do some three. So just want to make sure that this program is really doing so RSEC we all know so we'll try to do some of this MMIV let's see so let's see we'll just go here sorry I pressed the wrong button and I press the wrong button syntax check uh, what I'm going to do is I'll click here put this okay and here you can see this transparent table okay and here we will search EBLN simple Okay, EBLN EBLP is there, and here you will search GR just for the Mac. And let's go just one up. Probably Belnar is there, no, not here. So we'll do a search with Belnar. Okay, uh, and there that is so you have all the four entries. Now you might say, okay, let's see some of these three entry ones. Okay, so we'll search EKPO. Trust me, before this, I never knew that EKPO has Belnar also. And I was saying it cannot be true. The coding is wrong. So what I did is I went to EKPO, and trust me, I everyone knows EKPO will have EBLN and EBLP. But when I did a search on Belnar and it was found, then I said, okay, I came to know something new. Okay, so that's that's something related, different data element, but still this field is there, you know, and uh, so that's the beauty of this. So it's very useful, and it only does the tables. Uh, I will probably create another program for CDS views and other views, okay, or probably give another flavor. But that, trust me, you just keep this program with you. You go to any project, it's not possible for you to know all the tables name. And uh, the long way method is long. You have to go various list and all those things. But with this, you can do it very fast. And suppose now I want to see only the ones. So let's see. I'll just again play. 
and uh, we'll, what we'll do is we'll just flip this and we'll play uh, just to make sure you know I'm helping the um, I'm keeping the SD folks happy okay VBLN and VBLP mm, is there any other things I can do probably I don't know net VR give me some number Kunar right I don't know Kunar. so we'll just execute uh, let's see it blows up or not okay so here you can see beacon or something is there in case oh something is uh, wrong here okay so let's go probably i need to refresh this okay so vbln uh VB -L -L -P. this uh, slash uh and we'll just execute for the heck no, so it only shows e it doesn't show us VBAP and VB, VBAP or oh, VBLP. I think is that wrong? So let's go to VBAP, right? C11. Oops, made a mistake. We'll go to SC11 and I'll go to VBAP. And we'll see. Oh, I made a mistake. I've, I've been working with purchasing for so long time, I forgot the post now. So let's change it. Well, human can make mistakes, not program. So let's see uh, if this is right. <clears throat> now, this will this might take some time because I'm giving the right parameters. Okay, so let's see. Whether we will just we'll just check one, okay, and then we'll be going. So let's see if there's anything left. But I, probably it has a lot. You know, VPLN is huge. SD is one of the biggest bread and butter. So what I'm going to do, I'll just check here. So I forgot completely. I was just putting VBLP. It should be Bosner, okay. And this this is running, running, running. Okay. So here it is. And guess what they say. EKPO has this. Well, never knew that. Well, let's see. In EKPO, it has VBLN. I think probably, yeah, because it uh, purchase order from a sales order. <clears throat> okay, VBLN. Uh, there is some VBLN. Oh, there it is. So it searches with the field name as well as the data. That's why it's showing up. So, you know, I just, lots of times, you know, you just. But if you want to search with field name, you just need to tweak it, okay? So this is VBLN and all those things. Then you have this, and then you have LIPS, you have VBAP, you got it. And uh, we don't have anything more, that's it, okay? So we that's the only place where you have all these things, okay? So this is, this is I think this is very, very, very useful, and I hope you will all be using it. And I currently, I always correct carry this the first first thing I do when I get the program uh, my developer access key I paste this program and I'm ready to work okay so that's it I'm uh, sharing my secrets uh, so this will be helpful for everyone use this program and I'll paste it and just stay tuned to my SAP channel and learn new things and help us uh, learn the unexplored world of SAP thank you